بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد Some of the great benefits of fasting, and we've mentioned this on more than one occasion, is first and foremost is it helps to bring taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. It helps you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're fasting properly. And All of us are striving to achieve taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, striving to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that pleases Him with complete taqwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ وَلَا تُمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ and fear Allah, complete fear. And do not die except in a state of Islam. So taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal is something we want to achieve by Ramadan. That's one of the great benefits because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated for it, legislated Ramadan for that. As He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتُبَ عَلَيْكُمْ سِيَامُ كَمَا كُتُبَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلَكُمْ لَعَلَكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed for you, similar to the way it's been prescribed for those nations before you, in order that you would gain taqwa. And so, that's one of the greatest things that we can achieve from our fasting, it isn't diet and weight loss or purification of the body. Those are great benefits. Those are external benefits. Those are unintended benefits. Unintended benefits. But the purpose that we're trying to achieve, achieve as believers is taqwa is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's coming closer to Him, being sh- stronger in our ibadah implementing a regime in our life to where we avoid the muharramat that it becomes easy for us to leave the muharramat to where the muharramat becomes disliked to us as it is disliked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's what the believers trying to achieve and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that beautiful attribute of disliking the muharramat and coming closer to Allah wa ta'ala and having taqwa Allah azza wa jal and as we mentioned, taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, that it is avoiding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's prohibitions and doing His commandments. That's taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. That's bringing you, that's, that's gaining God fearfulness and God consciousness. That you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He should rightfully be feared. That's taqwa. And we ask Allah the Almighty to increase us in ilm nafi and rizq and tayyibah and may Allah bless us to be of his slaves that have taqwa wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam